Right, so this is my uh, this is my other pan and tilt, one of my other ones, which is um, designed really for like a compact camera. However, it turns out the dimensions are pretty much perfect for the GoPro HD uh, camera, which I'm probably going to get myself. Um, now, where the LiPo pack is at the moment is normally where we'd have a camera. Yeah, um, I mean this has been slightly jigged about from my original uh, design that I sell for aerial photography, where this would actually be hung from your helicopter and you'd have your camera sitting on there, yeah? There's a whole another plate, back plate that comes with it, which has um, got the thing that take, you know, that pushes the, uh, the button and stuff like that. But um, in terms of sort of being able to put it on top of your plane or even hanging it between your landing gear and stuff, it's ideal. Um, I mean, obviously I use this on my helicopter and stuff um, and helium balloons and various other uh, ways that we do aerial photography or used to. Um, so yeah, I mean this is uh, it's, it's all carbon fibre again, uh, nice and lightweight, super super strong. Um, I mean the the actual sort of rudimental parts, if you like, um, it's just this. Yeah, I mean this is the original plate. Um, I've cut this one down a bit, um, and you just get these uh, the side arms. Yeah, one's got a um, a servo horn screwed in. These are countersunk holes, so they're nice and flush. Uh, and then this one's just got a uh, four mil uh, flange bearing secured in. Again, with a um, these are two mil titanium screws um, and uh, actually stainless steel nuts. Um, so all super super lightweight, and it uses a uh, um, this is the this is a servo mounting plate, yeah. Um, and you can see. I've had these, uh, I've designed these in a way that means that the servo can slide up and down um, quite a you know, considerable amount, which means you can play around with the gear ratio on the pan as much as you want. Um, so you can either have it you know, from continuous rotation 360 all the way down to you know, a 90 degree servo being able to do a 180 degree uh, pan, which is quite handy. Um, or if you've got something really heavy, you might want to gear it down the other way. Um, and essentially the way, you know, these all these sort of slot together um, like so um, and then we have the uh, machined aluminium spacers um, which are three mil holes uh, which go either side, two in there again very very lightweight but amazingly Rigid, um, and again they're secured with uh, titanium, three mil titanium screws. These ones, um, so yeah, it's extremely strong. I mean, again, it's sort of the 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 way we're actually mounting the pan on this is slightly different. Instead of using flange bearings, we're actually using. Um, let's see if I can zoom in for you here. Whoa, we're all over the place. Let's uh, see if we can play with the old focus as well, there you go. So you can see um, we're using thrust bearings here, yeah? Um, which you can hang an extraordinary amount of weight on it and it will still be super, super smooth. Um, and there's, a, there's also a thrust bearing in there as well. Uh, and this is secured again with a four mil titanium bolt. Um, so that it's basically not going anywhere to be honest. Um, so that's the general sort of layout um, and you can see here where the servo is mounted um, with the gear so you can adjust the mesh perfectly um, you know with the benefit of having the actual um, adjustable sliders on the servo you can get the gear mesh exactly how you want it or you can go crazy and completely sort of change the gear mesh to whatever you want it to be um, and then uh, we've got these um, I had these custom machined as well, um, the actual hub mounting plate which um, is all tapped 3mm and there's various mounting holes with various different types of, uh, of gears. Um, I mean when I used to sort of sell these in mass volumes um, I used to just buy about 200 of these at a the time machined, I think I've got about 80 left um, since I left Thailand and you've got, these are actually HPI uh, racing car gears which work perfectly, nice and lightweight as well, very strong um, and it's a, it's a carbon reinforced um, 
plastic, which is quite nice stuff. Um, and then there's um, there's an oil impregnated um, bushing here that I had uh, custom uh, ground basically because it was about a mil out from their stock stuff. So um, and that fits in perfectly and aligns it. Um, and again, the four mil um, bolt passing through that uh, means that there's no sort of sideways movement, as well as obviously the the thrust bearings on the top. So um, you know, it's all it's designed really for sort of super, you know extremely reliable operation for a long period of time, um, hanging some pretty serious uh, payloads from it, um, you know, even digital SLRs and stuff. Um, and this here, again, we're using the, um, uh, the servo, the uh, aluminium um, machine servo ones that I had done a while back, and I use these quite a lot, so quite handy. Um, and they slot in quite tightly into the into the actual lug there you see and then once they're secured either side it's not going anywhere um, so that's um, basically the same way as we mount the you see we mount the servo on the back here um, using these chaps now this normally wouldn't be there I've just lobbed that on just to sort of show um, how, it, how I would use it for the GoPro basically. Uh, this would just be an alley bracket essentially. It's a bit of extra weight here, it's completely unneeded. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's just direct driven from the servo. So, um, and again, it's all modular. So this can actually be switched. Uh, this can be switched the other way if you've got something that's quite large. Um, and it gives you a bit of extra swing depth um, to it as well. Um, and in addition to that, it's all been made symmetrical. So basically you can, um, there's another hole um, in here, so you can actually mount two servos um, and have them reversed. Um, I've got a special circuit board that does that automatically and reverses them. You can program it to make them exactly the same, and you get twice as much um, tilt power basically. So, um, so that's the beast. This is this is like my, I suppose, one of the smaller pan and tilts that I've designed over the years. Um, I've got two that are bigger than this, um, but this has been quite popular because of the sort of compact cameras getting up to about 10 megapixel nowadays, and there's not, not really much need to carry around a, um, a big old digital SLR. So, so let's get it <coughs> rocking and rolling, um, see how she goes. Now again, what I've done here is I've got, um, I've got a receiver mounted on the back of the servo, and this is how I roll this, basically. Um, and this is actually controlled um, separately from, from when I normally fly and my wife controls the um, the photo shoot basically so I just hold a hover um, let's just get the focus banged in I normally hold the hover and she um, she plays around with the uh, pan and tilt so um, she has her own controller that she uses so as a result we can do sort of continuous 360. And again, the plate, <coughs> the original plate here, which has got this extension that comes out the front, um, which normally comes out here, um, is actually where I would normally have my um, uh, video transmitter mounted. So again, it's all completely self-contained. Um, hence the uh, continuous rotation. And then although the camera would normally be where this LiPo is, um, the LiPo would be on the back, which acts, acts as a counterbalance. Um, and therefore making it, you know, nice and balanced. I mean, I've actually had a crash in my helicopter uh, with one of these mounted, and uh, funnily enough, the only thing broken was um, I stripped some gears on the uh, on the tilt servo. That was it. Even the camera was okay. Um, so although it's extremely lightweight, um, it's very, very rigid. Um, and again, in a similar way as we did before, um, you know, again, we're talking sort of four, 500 gram weight here, yeah, on the side. And it, it doesn't even bow, doesn't even move because um, of those thrust bearings in the four mil titanium bolt, yeah. So you can really, really lob it about. You can pull about 50G and that isn't going anywhere, even with a 300 gram camera on it. Um, I mean, this battery here is only about 100 gram, uh, sorry, about 90 grams, so it's not, 
it's pretty insignificant in terms of uh, I mean I can't I can't even uh, <laughs> basically it's solid yeah um, and again you're going to be stripping your servos before you do any damage to the pan uh, pan and tilt um, so yeah that's the um, that's the slightly bigger one The only thing left to design now is my antenna tracker. Watch this space. <laughs>